The total number of passengers injured in yesterday's train collision at Jukun MRT station has now risen to 36. This follows a new walk-in case at the National University Hospital who has since returned home and six others who went to the Ngting Fong General Hospital. Five were walk-in cases. Three have been discharged while two are still being treated. Another new case was sent by ambulance and is also being treated. These details were given by the Land Transport Authority and rail operator SMRT this evening. Now, three others who were awarded for observation yesterday remain in the care of the hospitals. The Transport Ministry, LTA and SMRT say they are in touch with the injured passengers. Separately, it was all systems go for the east-west line this morning, a day after the train collision at Jukun Station during morning rush hour. Commuters traveling between Jukun and Twaslink were given free bus rides on Thursday. This as the stretch between Jukun and Twaslink MRT stations remained closed after an SMRT train came into contact with a stationary train near Jukun MRT station. SMRT said the move is for precaution and investigations to be thoroughly carried out by Thales, the company in charge of SMRT's train signaling systems. When Channel News Asia visited a bus stop outside Jukun MRT station during peak hours. Operations were smooth, with free bus services arriving promptly every five minutes. But despite this, the disruption to the train line still meant a longer journey for some. My usual commute would be by train all the way to Bell Circle, so this time I have to change to the bus service. How much more time is it? Um, about half an hour. The train service is only until Jukun, and I have to go to Tua Station, so I left like around, say, 20-25 minutes early. In the meantime, other stations along the east-west line remained unstructed. Following the collision, Home Affairs Minister K. Shamugam wrote in a Facebook post that he understood why people were fed up. However, he added that he was confident that Transport Minister Kobun Wan will sort things out. So all in all, it's not been a good couple of weeks for rail operator SMRT, which has already seen multiple incidents in the recent months. This includes a tunnel flooding incident, as well as a horde of other issues, which the company's CEO has attributed to a poor work culture. Well, meantime, engineering experts continue to question how a train's software protection feature could have been removed when it passed through a faulty signaling circuit. But they add that the gap between the trains involved in yesterday's collision at Jukun MRT station should have been widened if the train in front was already facing issues. Preliminary findings from the accident showed that the distance between the two trains before the collision was 10.7 meters. While signaling systems provider Thales said this is within the safe distance of between 10 and 50 meters. Other experts say the gap is too close for comfort. The 10.7 meter distances, although this is a within system design, uh, it should work as a really the last measure for the safety. And it should not be evoked on in a kind of a the routine basis. Uh, so the very fact that the train was that close, uh, to me, that uh, I'm, I feel very uncomfortable. Industry watchers say when one train is faulty, the train behind should have been programmed to react safely. When there was a car fault in front and already be detected, for the second train to stop. But why there is no uh, safety action or measure happen to change or switch the operation from the auto mode to restrict mode or safe mode or even manual mode, but still running on the auto mode. Rail operator SMRT says there was a driver in a train that rear-ended the front train, but it's still looking into whether he could have reacted in time and apply the manual brake. SMRT says the train was moving at 16 kilometers per hour for 10 seconds before the collision occurred. The average reaction time of a driver is approximately 2 to 3 seconds. However, this will depend on the driver's experience. The authorities say the driver had at least a year and a half of driving experience. The incident is still under investigation.